Thank you. Uh, I'm Alan Williamson. Today we're going to show you how to build your Ethereum mining rig. We're focusing on Ethereum to begin with. We've got a single GPU. We're going to start small and work it up together. Um, so I wanted to make this one by one for you, everybody that uh, may not be familiar with computers or just immediately comfortable to jump into this. This should be a pretty good, easy thing for you to do. First, always when you're touching computers and stuff, get your electrostatic bracelet. You can pin it here. It comes in a simple 15. Maybe, you, you know, that's the most expensive, really. Don't spend more than 15 on this. It'll come in your tool set that you need for your, because you're building computers. But keep this on you. It'll always make sure that you don't fry something like your motherboard or the GPU you just spend a lot of money on. Starting with the motherboard, we got the ASRock H81 Pro BTC, made for, it says Bitcoin, but any cryptocurrency. Again, we're going to be focusing on uh, Ethereum mining. Inside of this, you actually have six PCI X slots. One is the full with the 16, and then you have the smaller ones. Those you will need the, uh, it's known as a riser cable. Make sure I get a power of one. And as we open this, I'll show you what that looks like. Again, that's our motherboard. Let's call it the guts of the computer. We have CPU is where that will be. In ours, we're going to use the Intel i7 4790. This is pretty good CPU. Um, we're going a little bit more high end on certain things because we're going to also use this motherboard and uh, play uh, some of the video popular video games that are, require a lot of memory, such as Hello Neighbor. But that's part of this is this uh, GPU that we're going to use for mining. And I'll show you where that'll connect, but we're also going to be connecting two 8 gig memory sticks. That's what these are here. This will support 4 gig in each, minimum 4 gig in one, but then up to 16 gigs, so two 8s will go in there. That's two 8 gigabit DDR3 memory for this. One of the interesting things about this motherboard is you can go to their website, asrock.com, put in this, this motherboard information and it will actually show you the specific processors and memory that you can use with this. That's very valuable so that you don't buy the wrong thing. You always double check. And this also, we're gonna use an SSD 240 gig. You will not need that much if you're just doing mining. Even if you had went all the way up to the six GPUs, which we will eventually. The GPU is gonna connect initially right there. That's our one by 16 PCI E, PCIe 2 slot. Then notice these all look similar. Those are PCIe uh, 0 by, or 1 by 2s, by 1s. There, see? But those actually, what you'll have is called a powered riser. It's like a cable that allows this to come up to another piece that looks like this, just a conversion. And that's why they call them mining rigs. The rigs allow the powered riser part to be up a little bit higher, and you can space them, get more. Uh, space between them so you have more memory or more fan keep it because this will eventually get pretty hot okay very good don't spend a lot on your keyboard or mouse you have here you'll actually laugh these are ps2s um, just i didn't want to waste the usb drives on them we're going to eventually connect uh, this is the ax 1500 i 1500 power titanium uh, uh, power source for the computer power supply. Uh, I can't wait to show you all this. This is actually pretty nice 1500 watts There and this should open Let me show you all this. We'll show you some of what comes with it. This is the, all of the cables that would come with this That's why I really like this. It comes with just for example 10 uh, PCIe we'll only need six when we're absolutely max. So we actually even come back. We have 20 different kind of SATA cables it's just, it's fabulous. It pays for itself, honestly, to me, just for the cables and the cable management that it allows. You'll see that it's very compartmentalized where you can use only the specific ports that you need. Uh, they have done a really well done job on this. Um, and of course, you're gonna want a, uh, that's your power source or power supply you have to have, of course. And I recommend having a UPS, an triple power supply. Uh, it has to match that 1500 watts. Okay, we're good. Stop.